The Engineer Monkey was buffed in the most recent update to VTD Battles 2, more specifically the Balloon Trap upgrade on it. So we're going to be showcasing this upgrade in today's video to see how good it is now. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Now, in case you guys don't know what exactly was changed regarding the Engineer Monkey with this new 1.8.2 update, then we can go over the changes together right now. So first of all, the 004 Balloon Trap cash per RBE captured used to be 1.7 and now it will be 2.4 and the max capacity increased from 850 to now 1200 and finally the 050 ultra boost used to be 120,000, and now it will be 100,000. dollars so with all that being said will the engineer monkey finally be good in btd battles 2 that is truly the ultimate question for today's video which is why we are making today's video and take a look at the strategy that we are using, ladies and gentlemen. We're using good old Path Busty Dartlene NG Spike Factory. Now, I know at first glance it doesn't really make sense, and that that is true. It does not make any sense, but we're still gonna make it work out, even in the Hall of Masters. And by the way, I probably should have went for my Dartling Gunner. So definitely a mistake on my behalf because I could have conserved a lot of lives right there. Oh my God, yeah, I leaked down to 81 lives. Oh my goodness. Okay, we definitely got to bounce back. But the Balloon Trap is one of the most infamous upgrades in all of Battles 2 because it got completely reworked a few updates ago. And what I mean by that is the Balloon Trap used to make money from player sent balloons, so it used to counter eco very, very hard. But now the current Balloon Trap only makes money from AI balloons. So we have to make sure that when we do put down a balloon trap, that we have the balloon trap more towards the front of the map. So it's collecting as many AI balloons as possible, because again, it only gets money from those. And the balloon trap can still eat up player sent balloons. It's just that you won't make money off those player sent balloons. And the whole point of going for the balloon trap is to make money. So we wanna maximize the amount of money that we can make as much as we possibly can. And we'll try our absolute best to have it in a pretty goaded spot, especially on this map because the player sent balloons come from down here, but AI balloons come from up here. So I guess we can maybe have a decent um, engineer spot, but it looks like our opponent is also using the Dartling Gunner. They've got a Zilli as their hero. So I guess they're using a pure eco strategy, which you know what? That's actually not that shocking because we are on the map Sands at times. And this map is notorious for being a late game map because it's pretty long and the difficulty is definitely on the easier side as well. They're going to be sending us space blacks. Okay, so that's when we go for the faster barrel spin. I'm going to be doing the same exact thing, but uh, they should be absolutely fine. They're going to go for another Darling Gunner. I think with having Pat Fussy as our hero, we are able to fully, fully defend against constant yellow eco. I did set Path Fuss to the strong as well. We're not going to go for a balloon trap, by the way, until the later game rounds. And that's because, again, remember, we only make money from AI balloons. Look at the AI right now. There's literally reds and blues coming out. The AI is not very dense as we speak. So we're not going to make all that much money. And it's also going to take forever for the balloon trap to get filled because the max capacity was increased as well. So that kind of sucks because now it's going to take a little bit longer to get that money from the balloon trap. But at the same time, when you do get that money, it's going to be a lot more. And oh my goodness, what's going on? Let's balloon boost maybe. Because uh, I don't think they're really liking the constant yellow to go. Oh my God. Okay, sinking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I guess they were actually fine in all reality. What? What's going on? Well, that's really annoying because on my screen, it looked like they were about to leak, which is why I balloon boosted. But again, in reality, they were not. Um, so screw you lag for that. And also I over ecoed like crazy right there. I mean, we have nearly 1000 eco and it's round nine. Although these rounds have been stalled out a bit. So I guess it makes a little bit of sense, but I'm going to continue on sending space purple eco because I don't want to spend too much money on sending um, zebra eco because again, we over ecoed. We don't have all that much money to begin with. They already went for their HRP. Okay. I went for another darling gunner because they were sending me space regen zebras and that was kind of scary, but looks like they are in fact done with that. And uh, I'm going to keep this powerful dart darling gunner on the map just to help us out, have extra popping power damage, extra pierce all of those good and fun things. I'm gonna try to send as many space rainbows here as I possibly can. Okay, let's go for the HRP now. Yeah, almost 1200 eco for round 12. 
that is really really good during these mid game rounds we're solely going to focus on upping our eco game they're going to try to send us rainbows maybe that was on accident but of course we're fine now we are on my balloon tricks account so we do not have any tier 5 upgrades for the engineer only at least we have tier fives for the darling gun and the spike factory so i'm happy with that because we don't need to go for the ultra boost oh yeah that's what i said earlier like we can't even go for the ultra boost even if we wanted to so that's a bit unfortunate but i'm thinking about going for my balloon trap here very very soon i want to focus on my eco game a little bit more though and currently we're almost spending every dollar that we have on sending constant eco so we'll wait a little bit longer once round 17 hits as well we're gonna start eco with pinks because that's just what we do here and they'll probably do the same but i'm excited to see what the rest of their strategy is okay so i set down an engineer all the way up here and uh yeah we don't have enough money just yet to go for the balloon trap but when we do cross path this thinking about just cross pathing I mean we could go with the top path but having the ability to target where the balloon trap goes is super super nice so we're gonna go with the middle cross path because if you don't know yes you have to cross path it with the middle path in order to target where exactly you want the balloon trap to be deployed so I feel like that's pretty important especially because we can only make money again from the ai balloons and they're gonna start ecoing with zebras here maybe i should do the same thing yeah that actually wouldn't be too bad of an idea so we'll follow in suit hopefully we're gonna be fine here as well but we got the balloon trap targeted all the way in the top left hand corner of the map i just want to see how much money we're gonna make here oh my god they're struggling look at the difference guys i don't even have my hrp cross path either that's only because we have pat fusty as our hero he's an alchemist He's using Alchemist. No freaking way. Darling Alk. I love Darling Alk. Oh, $1,200. Guys, we just made $1,200 from our balloon trap. That is probably the max amount of money that you can make once it's filled. And yep, we just made another $1,200 right there. Oh, yeah. I'm liking that change a lot, ladies and gentlemen. So, Engineer, again, on maps like this where the AI and the player sent balloons are on like different paths or come out of different locations are going to be the maps that you want to try out uh the engineer monkey okay but let's pop down this here good 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 yeah i think i guess oh oh my god they look down to 74 lives what's going on they have an out buff hrp as well that is crazy okay so we're probably gonna want to go for um a spike factory as well over on our side yeah that definitely would not be a bad idea you know what i'm gonna have the spike factory more down here so let's start going for that now the spike factory is another tower that was buffed in the most recent update to this game so i don't want to showcase the buff just because i, I think that would be good and fitting for another video so we'll just go with the 302 cross path here although i remember the 302 cross path was nerfed with this update they stopped decoying by the way i'm gonna start equal with pinks here just in case okay yeah they're gonna send us a zomg which that's fine we have big squeeze we could go for a balloon area denial system we could also spike storm we actually have a lot of different options here so honestly i think we're fine we're not going to send him a zomg because he has a zillia as his hero so he can just hex that zomg and be absolutely fine so we won't do that but yeah let's start going for the balloon area denial system i gotta remember to constantly collect uh from the balloon trap up here okay you have to have your cursor of course in order to collect it so yeah i think we're gonna be fine here without needing a spike storm okay we didn't even use big squeeze either so pat fussy of course is going to be able to knock back on um, the mobs once we pop it off down to that layer do i go for yeah let's go for this and then i think after that i'm gonna go for a rocket storm here and wait maybe we could big squeeze it yeah we could we could we could we could we could so i'm gonna retarget this we'll use our level 10 ability because like why not might as well use it right i'm gonna go for a rocket storm here oh they're echoing with uh zebras here Okay, so yeah, let's equal zebras as well. Now I'm gonna rocket storm this now. So Pat Fusty can push some of those back for us. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Spike Factory. Oh my god, Spike Factory is so good. Spike Factory is so freaking good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. They've got the ninja as their final popping power tower. Okay, so there's really nothing that I can do against them currently. Like, I can't send him really anything to force any sort of upgrade so it's a bit unfortunate but i'm down to go late game it's just like we already have seen the engineer in action which by the way has made me twelve thousand oh thirteen thousand six hundred and one dollars so far how did it make that one dollar i have no idea but that's definitely very very respectable you know what maybe we should go for like a double balloon trap because 
It's filling up pretty quickly, right? So yeah, we'll do that. We have so much money to, oh wait. Okay, I did not mean to go for the deconstruction upgrade. It's fine. I went for an overclock too. I guess we could just overclock uh, this spike factory right here to help that out a bit. Although it's not very necessary at the same time. Okay, so round 28 is here. They could send us a little bit of a rush. We have enough money to go for balloon exclusion zone, which is crazy to say, but that is in fact the truth. You know what? We're probably going to want to go, oh my God, we could go for like a perma spike all the way in the back of the map. That wouldn't be too bad of an idea. I don't even know if we can take them down, guys. Their strategy is actually probably better than ours, especially because we don't have Ultra Boost um, during the later game rounds. So that is super, super unfortunate. We probably should have equaled with purples for this game since we're both using Purico strategies, but uh, I guess it's fine. Okay, so do we want to go for Super Mines or do we want to go for MAD? We have a lot of different options. You know what? They stopped decoying. We'll stop decoying as well here at 7302 Eco. I'm going to sell this spike factory right here. Go for super mines. Overclock that right now. Round 30 is in fact here. They're still ecoing. You actually have to be kidding me. Okay, we had a life avenge. So I guess we got that going for us. But guys, like we can't survive until round 40. There's actually just no way that we can. Later. So it's round 36 here and they still have yet to even rush us. So... They're probably just waiting for us to rush them, which, you know, I kind of would like to see the strategy in action, although I, I don't think we could defend, okay? We have a lot of fantastic tier 5 upgrades, but I feel like we would just get overwhelmed over time. They're out buffing an MAD, by the way. Having that plus 1 damage to the MAD, oh, it's probably helping so much. But they have the Permabrew over by all of their ninjas, but not in the range of the MAD or the Balloon Exclusion Zone. They probably are sitting on so much cash right now, by the way, guys. They probably have so much money, it's not even funny. Let's go for the carpet of spikes, by the way, too. We're not going for perma spike because for obvious reasons. All right, round 38 is here. I'm just gonna rush them after one more income boost because yeah, I feel like they're gonna still struggle because round 38, four to five BADs are absolutely no joke. We're gonna send space F bads, by the way, and they're gonna send group tier. Okay, so we instantly tower boost, MAD ability, overclock you, overclock you. Okay, I feel like we're actually gonna do really good against this because they're dense. He should have sent spaced. He should have sent spaced, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Okay, well we sh should probably still watch out because there's gonna be a lot of ZOMGs and stuff. Okay, they got level twenty of Zilly. Okay, gotta watch out here. Oh God, this is looking bad for us. Tower boost. And we need MAD ability right now. MAD ability. No, we're dead. We're dead. And they're they're literally dead there. They're actually literally dead there. I can't even send freaking DDTs. No. Oh my goodness, man. Hey, it was still a good game nonetheless. And I'm telling you guys, if we have the ultra boost there, we win. All good, GG's. And if you guys have not already, make sure to check out this video where this is the only map where this illegal strategy works. It's the new map, Bloombot Factory. If you're struggling on that map, then you definitely do not want to miss this video.